See massive polar bears on the hunt, clever fish building underwater pyramids, and spectacular fire shows, all without leaving your couch. BBC America's new series, Seven Worlds, One Planet, takes us around this amazing world, and I caught up with the executive producer in this DBL Spotlight. Dr. Johnny Keeling, welcome to DBL. Now you explore seven continents, including Australia. And since those devastating fires, what has happened to the animals that you all filmed? That's right, we, we film each of the seven continents and, and one of those in Australia, um, we've been in touch with the, the teams that we work with there. And thank goodness the, the animals which we filmed are okay, but obviously it's been really, really heartbreaking that I think up to a billion animals have been killed across that continent. Yeah, it's so sad when you hear that our prayers are out uh, to Australia. Now, um, tell us about the spectacular Firefly uh, show that you filmed here in America, because I saw the trailer and it looks amazing. Yeah, that was filmed in the forests here in, in, um, in America. And it, it's just, again, I, I sort of knew that the fireflies existed, but I'd never seen anything like this before. This wonderful spectacle through the night. And it's just over the course of a few days that the, all the fireflies start kind of signaling to each other. So we've got this wonderful sequence of, uh, of a kind of a light show, really, that, that happens every year that most people will not even know is going on in their, in their country. Wow, in Virginia, we used to call them lightning bugs. Now, I've seen uh, a lot of close calls when it comes to filming. Have you ever had any close calls? I definitely have. Um, actually, on the first Planet Earth series, which I worked on, we filmed lions hunting elephants at night. That was pretty hairy. I it was quite, that. Uh, quite challenging to have lions all around. Yeah, so I was part of that team. I filmed the snakes and iguanas for um, Planet Earth 2, so the snakes chasing the iguanas across the sand, which is quite hairy. Um, but on this series, I'm trying to think what. Uh, oh, I filmed um, uh, leopard seals, which are these big seals hunting penguins. Um, in, in Antarctica and even just getting down to Antarctica was challenging. The waves were uh, about 30 or 40 feet high in the boat that we were sailing in so that was possibly one of the, the most frightening moments for me was you know are we even going to survive the journey to get there. Absolutely breathtaking. So what does it take to film a series like this? What kind of technology and cameras do you all use? Well, uh, one of the m m you know most amazing pieces of kit we've taken away with us is uh, is a drone, and the drones have come on brilliantly in the last few years. You can pack them away in a small suitcase. You can take them anywhere. We've taken them down volcanoes at night. We've taken them through caves. We've taken them to Antarctica. We've taken them everywhere, and it just allows you to film behaviour that you don't normally see and film animals you can't normally you know capture because they they might be afraid of people. But if you're a mile away and you, the drone's high enough up in the sky with a long lens you can be capturing behavior that, that no one's seen before. Doc, I'm a huge fan. I can't wait till it comes out. The new series, Seven Worlds, Thanks. One Planet, premieres this Saturday on BBC America. Thank you again, Dr. Johnny Keeling. Thanks.